morning, Jen. Happy Friday. Um, welcome back to the garden. It is surprisingly cool out today, which is, well, okay, it's cool for a Georgia summer, um, but it's nice to be out here getting some nice warmth and sunlight, some vitamin D. Our garden is doing quite well. The only issue is that we have, it's made of hornworms. <laughs> And I would like to cordially invite all of the tomato hornworms in my garden to heck off. I am so tired of seeing them and seeing the damage and having to spend quite a lot of time, you know, looking for them and then having Phil get rid of them. Uh, we had one last night that was hanging out on this plant over here. It's gone now, but it looks like he might have had a friend. I just can't see him. Sorry, it's so windy. It's uh, it's actually really nice. Anyway, this bed back here that has a lot of the uh, sweet 100s, uh, I, think, I think that there's one in there too. I just can't find it. I don't know where it's at. It might be a baby who's just really hungry um, and I'm just missing him or something. Uh, I'll come out here later with Alex and Phil and we'll find it. Alex has no concerns about like looking at them or seeing them or touching them. I'm pretty sure he accidentally touched one yesterday. Oh, to be young and not terrified. All right. So then we have our big long beds. The cucumbers, as you can see, are getting worse by the day, which is, I mean, fine. They did great. I'm not upset about it at all. I think we'll get one more um, good cucumber off of here. But this big boy, this big round dude, um, we are letting that grow so that we can harvest the seeds. Um, I watched a couple of videos on why the cucumbers might be making all these weird shapes. And I think it's because it got so hot uh, and it was so rainy. I think that um, some of the pollen might have molded and died um, or there weren't enough pollinators to come in and like actually pollinate and diversify the flowers. I don't know. Um, what else is new? Oh, our peppers are actually making peppers. We've been able to harvest a lot of jalapenos lately. The tomato forest. Crazy. I, I love my tomato forest. It's so pretty. Um, oh, our big, big branch fell over. That's fine. Um, okay, so we have more, uh, fruits that are going to be ready to pick today, assuming it doesn't rain. I don't think it's supposed to. Our green beans are doing well. It's really just these two plants. We've got the one on the um, left side of the trellis and on the right side as well. They're producing really, really well. The ones in the center aren't producing quite as well. I think they just got kind of shaded out by the tomato plants, which is fine. Um, and then, yeah, we are, our maintenance for the garden is... <laughs> also really behind so i'm hoping this weekend it's a little bit cooler so we can come out here and deal with a lot of the stuff that needs to come out and get replaced or replanted uh one thing that we have had absolutely zero trouble with is our okra i mean i i don't even know what to say it's producing so much we froze a huge batch last night and we're probably going to freeze some more because we've eaten a lot of okra i need a break from okra <laughs> Maybe I'll pickle it. I need to can um, our pickling, pickling cucumbers anyway. So um, our big old cucumber plant, you know, it's it's not that it's doing poorly. It's just that it's um, not doing the best. Like there's new growth on the ends of the vines, but there's not any in the center. A lot of the center is uh, looks like it's dying. So I think I'll probably pull that out. It It's uh, lived a really good life. Um, and the two cucumber plants that have sprouted in its place are, they're ready to produce. So I think we'll have some good fall crops there. We'll see, I don't know. I, I need to decide if I'm gonna do that this weekend. We have something very special today that I want to share with you. We got to harvest our first atomic grape tomato. So I figured we could share this experience together. I've never gotten to have an atomic grape before. So I have no idea what they taste like. Um, I hope they're good because this is the first tomato that I've grown from like, well, first heirloom that I've grown from a start. Mm, it smells sweet. Mm. Mm.
This is delicious. It has a really thick skin, not as thick as the um, sprinkles tomatoes, the really small ones that are that we're growing in abundance in the back of the food forest. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this. That's the best tomato I'm gonna have all summer, I think. It's so rewarding to grow tomatoes from starts that I started in my office, the, the ones that survived all the cats. I'm just proud of myself, and I think my grandma would be proud of me too. Anyway, I hope your garden's going well, um, and I hope that your atomic grapes come in soon. They're definitely worth the wait.